Hey there viewers, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at turning a drum on this AccuTurn lathe. Pretty close to the same way we turn the discs if you watched that video. Um, turning drums is something kind of often, even when they're new, they seem to be warped, from my perspective anyway. Uh, so I do turn drums, not a lot, but a little bit more often than discs. Uh, some brand new vehicles are still using them, but uh, we typically get a little bit of the older clientele in here. So let's take a look at how that's done. First things first, just like on the rotor, we're going to clean up this inside. Next up, wherever we put the instructions. Drum setup, almost identical to the uh, disc setup because we have a hubless drum. So we're gonna go ahead and get that installed. Uh, step one, which I kind of feel we've probably already done, is, uh, oh yeah, finding the appropriate cone. So if you have to put all this stuff together, um, on the bottom, underneath the machine, are the big boy adapters for the larger trucks and machines. Uh, this came off a of Buick, so uh, yeah, uh, we're going to use the smaller stuff. Uh, then you're going to put a bell clamp, you're going to put a spring, you're going to put the cone of your liking, like such, and then the drum, and another bell clamp. smush and we're gonna get an adapter to take up some space kind of feeling the deja vu here a little bit and we're gonna get another washer and I think I think we'll have this uh, nope we're gonna put one more washer oh, and drop my instructions Put one more washer on that. Well, technically two, because that's what I grabbed. Just want to make sure we don't run out of threads. You can feel the friction, so that's good. Okay. Done with the instructions. I usually spin it a little bit while I'm tightening. Uh, next up, let's swap the drum cutter for the uh, disc cutter here. Just use an adjustable wrench backwards. Please do not set tools on the silver part. Get the old cleaner -uski. Safety squints engaged. adapter we are gonna have to reverse the cutter head because well no wait I already did that never mind all right so we're just gonna, I'm gonna move this out of the way a little bit we're gonna bring the carriage this way so that we can clear the end of the drum with the uh, cutter head, and then we're going to bring the cutter head in. And we're going to bring the cutter head 
about midway into the drum and you guessed it we're going to take a scratch cut you can see the blink from our scratch cut so we're going to shuffle it off and we're going to loosen the drum up a little bit and bring that cutter head in just a little bit turn that about 180 degrees then we're going to put the cutter in a little bit different spot. Take another scratch cut. And here you can see we're, uh, we're out a little bit. So we'll just do that one more time. All right, here you can see my uh, last two scratch cuts are blinking together. So I kind of took a total of three for this one, but we got it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to, uh, without crashing, we're gonna bring the cutter head all the way in that way without hitting the front of the drum, because, you know, that would be bad. I can hear we got a little taper going on. Just be careful. Okay, right there. I'm gonna power off the lathe, and I'm gonna put the silence band on. Big Bertha, oh yeah. This one you gotta kinda, always wants to slide off because the drum's not uh, real square. It's got that taper to it. So gotta work with it a little bit. It's all good though. And just slide her up underneath like such. Good to go. Alright, next up what's gonna happen is we're gonna turn this guy to drum. And your micrometer is here and you can't zero it. So I'm gonna consider us at zero right now. That's about a five thou. Pretty constant uh, sound. You gotta kind of ignore the howl. These are a little more obnoxious. I got a nice constant sound. So uh, obviously, if you keep turning it, you're just gonna cut a groove deeper and deeper into the into the drum, which is not what we want to do. So we're gonna go ahead and take a medium. Sorry about the reach. Uh, that's the drive we want to use. We'll let it cut. And here we're getting a nice constant cut. You can probably see that cut happening down there, way in the back. Alright, we'll go ahead and disengage the feed. Then, without touching anything, we're gonna bring this guy back to our original starting spot. Without crashing. <laughs> Easy there, big fella. All right. Then I'm at about 38. 39 and about 40, I'm gonna go maybe 41. It's touching. I'm gonna reduce that speed to about the nine o'clock position. Let it take a slow cut. This guy. So pretty much, it's ready to go back on the car. 
That was easy. Uh, don't forget to mic the inside diameter. It actually grows larger. So don't get that confused with uh, discs. But uh, the inside diameter will grow larger as these discs wear. So a lot of these are stamped very clearly. This one here says a max of 226.3 millimeters for the diameter. And you can, you can see we got a pretty good, uh, pretty good finish on that. Dump the shavings out, and back on the car. I usually put fluid film on the hub and on the back of the rim and stuff. Kind of keeps things from rusting. Well, there you got it, folks. That is turning a drum on the AccuTurn lathe. So pretty simple process, uh, pretty similar to turning a disc. Um, I do occasionally do this service. Uh, sometimes the drums are salvageable. There's enough meat on them to turn them, get them all straightened back out. Um, I do notice, I think a lot of these drums come warped from the factory. So you put them on the car and spin them and they'll drag here and there uh, unevenly. I'll turn them on this machine using the same process that I showed you and they'll, uh, they'll be nice and quiet as far as uh, they won't pulsate when you give them a spin around, if you will, after the brake job. So. Uh, works good for me. I'm not sure what the debate is about. I really don't care to take any participation as far as that's concerned, but a good service to keep in your back pocket. Some of these drums are stupid money and some of these drums are pretty cheap. So definitely check out the prices of brand new uh, before you spend, you know, a half hour or whatever it takes to turn two of these drums and, you know, put those parts back on the car. Don't forget to mic your parts and you don't want to put bad parts on the vehicle. So with that being said, Thanks for watching. Until next time.